Stop recording. Hey everybody. So I went ahead and downloaded the public beta that just came out for iOS or for iPad OS 18 and I put it on my iPad Air 4th gen iPad. And a uh, side note, just so everyone's aware, it's better if you do want to test out like a beta um, pre-relief software. You, um, it's better to have like an extra iPad or iPhone or if at all something where it's not your main squeeze so that at least your phone still does all the things it's norm normally supposed to do on, on commercial software. But um, in regard to the beta, the first public beta of um, iPad OS 18, you know, they never disappoint. Um, there's always something new to kind of play around with and, you know, it's kind of, it can be entertaining sometimes. So last time um, they came out, I think it was an uh, iPad and iOS 17, but um, it was personal voice and you could record a voice of yourself saying these sentences and it gives you all these sentences to say it's 150 of them and some of them I find as a blind user um, using voiceover um, they're easy like are we going to the store tomorrow that's pretty easy um, but some of them have more complex sentences so some of them are hard for my uh, memory to keep straight so I just say what I can and, and then it saves all this data from our voice and it's able to make that into a voice that's just stored on your phone only. So it's not like it's in the cloud or anything, it's just on your phone. And then you can also turn on across devices so if you want it to go onto your iPad. Um, but for some reason, I don't know if it's because one's on the beta and one isn't, um, the new voice that I just recorded on my uh, older iPad, did not transfer to my iPhone. So I gotta figure that one out. But um, but I feel like the second attempt, because the first voice was already on my iPad from a while ago, I think I did it on my iPhone and that one actually transferred. So this new guy is new. And it's a better sounding voice because I did it totally without any noise in the background and just me sitting there with my phone, so it worked out, I think, pretty uh, a lot better. And although I might go back to one of the voices that are built into iPad OS um, for voiceover, I still think it's kind of cool to see, hear myself saying what time it is and all the apps on my home screen. And when I'm in Facebook reading quotes and stuff, it's kind of cool. Or I opened um, Kindle. So right now I have a note. And this is my voice saying all this. And there's another really cool feature, which I'm going to show. Notes, go sidebar, button. There's my voice. Multiple real screen input. Okay, now this is a new feature, and I've been wanting this one for a very long time, and I'm absolutely so excited over the moon. And you know those times when you expect something to happen? And then you like you start to kind of like lose some of that like hope, you know. You're just like, okay, well maybe it won't happen. You move on. Um, but then that's when it's like you stop looking, and then sometimes that's when it happens, you know. It's like, oh, so here it is. Dot positions calibrated. Dot six. Oh, space. Oh, space. Keyboard. I uh, space. Uh, G space. Uh, uh, I uh, C and uh, space. Dot cap and P P T period. Dot P P. Uh, what? Dot P O comma. A T P T period. and P exclamation. Dot exclamation. Mark. So basically what I demonstrated was not only using real screen input, but they added keyboard clicks. So all these sounds, it's, it's like typing on a computer. And I honestly was jealous of 
people that would walk around sighted folks with their iPhone or iPad and they're just typing away and you can hear you know as it's making the sound and when we have braille screen input like I was just doing there's there was never the click so I actually um one of my friends is um friends with some people I believe in Apple's accessibility world out in California and then I, I know I sent in a couple of emails and I I wrote it on my socials before that I wished that that would be something they would implement. And I realized that not everybody likes keyboard clicks. So I was hoping that maybe those that do not like them could just turn off keyboard clicks and settings. Like when you go down to sound and haptics in your iPhone or iPad, then you just click on um, to turn off the keyboard clicks, just like you turn on and off anything else. And so hopefully that's the fix for those that are like, oh, I don't like it now with the with the noise. But I'm, I mean, I was over the moon excited that they added the clicks, like things like that to me. It's like, yes, thank you so much. And the fact that my own voice and um, it's, you know, it's what it is and it's not bad. Sometimes I'm like, what did they say? What did it just say? But I, I find myself doing the same thing um, with, it's not Kindle, what is it? Um uh it's on the roku the roku um that voice it, it's the only voice roku has right now and it's tolerable but sometimes i don't understand what it's saying it sounds kind of mumbleish, and i know i'm not the only blind adult uh who says that because i've i've read online other people other blind and low vision individuals saying that it's hard to understand the voice that they have for the screen reader on the roku but never nonetheless it's there and it's pretty easy to navigate and stuff. So <laughs> anyway, but um, I'm just excited to have these clicks. Like, um, F R D O A P Y. All right, so all these noises are part of the silly stuffing braille screen input words. All right, here and now this is what it says, obviously. Undo, multi-line text field is editing. I'm so excited to have keyboard clicks alongside real screen input. Made my who night and weekend. Three exclamation marks. Thanks, Apple. Three exclamation marks. I love you. Represent your click. LOL. Word mode. Insertion point at end. So, it's decent. It's, it's kind of doing the job. But anyway, I just had to say that I am um, getting these updates now. And I can uh, provide more feedback as things change. And it's pretty cool that they change really fast, you know and uh, sometimes the betas aren't as good as others. And then I just provide feedback using the Feedback Assistant app, which is built in when you sign up um, or re-sign up, like re-go you know, in as an uh, existing member. Um, it's the Feedback Assistant app. It's where you can report bugs, anything that's going on with the device. Um, and like I said, it's better if you have an older device or one you don't mind putting a beta on because there are bugs because that's the whole point is that that's how you iron out most of the bugs is by reporting feedback. So I'm excited about what's going on with iOS and iPadOS 18 and I'm not going to put it on like my Mac or anything like that. I'm just going to wait for the release because usually those there's more it seems like the features are more on iphone but i know that they'll kind of go across the board and we'll play around with them when they're when they come available later this year thanks so much for watching today's video Show cap, stop recording button.